What's up guys? I'm Kenny and welcome to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be more of a tool review. So, the wife bought me an impact wrench. It's pneumatic for air compressor. It's the brand Hart, obviously. It's a half inch. Uh, it says three year warranty. Anyways, so it's from Walmart, obviously. And it was on sale. She surprised me with it, so... Make sure you go follow her and, you know, show her some love. So this is the unboxing and kind of like a review. So this is what we got. For me, though, an impact wrench, basically it doesn't need to be a lot. I mean, wheels working on the engine, suspension parts, stuff like that. So it doesn't need to be crazy amount of torque or anything. And it says it is, let's see, 8,000 RPM, 650 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, 650 foot-pounds of torque. At 90 PSI operating. Okay. This is what it looks like when you open it. We got some destructions here. Uh, we got the wrench itself. Uh, we got a fitting. Quarter inch. And an empty box. So, get this out of the wrapper here. Just like a normal half inch wrench. Standard anvil on it. Well, it has a grease fitting there. I think that's what that is. A little lever on the back, you know, direction. Yep. Let me look that up real quick and see if that's a fitting. Yeah. This one. It says it is a lubricating hammer assembly used a suitable grease not provided and press the gun nozzle against the grease fitting. Oh yeah, so that's a grease fitting. Which I don't have a grease fitting, so I'm just going to put oil in it like normal and try it out. So I need to put a fitting on it, which it didn't come with any sealant like Teflon tape or anything, but I have some. So I'm going to wrap that and then uh, we'll see how it does. So I'll bring you back once I've put that on. Alright, guys. Oh, now I got the fitting on, sealed. Tough on tape. Just trying to find my oil I'm cutting. But I got a little thing out of a different tool. Came with a little kit I got. So I'm gonna put a few drops of that in, hook it up to the air hose and see what it does. And then I figured why not the best way to do it is I gotta put struts on my Jeep. So that'd be the best way to test it out. So here we go.
All right, guys, so we tried her out. She's got a couple of little scuff marks, but she did pretty good. I did have a little trouble doing one of the struts on the car. It was having trouble breaking the bolts loose. The lugs and everything else were good, just those two strut bolts. The other side was easy, but what I did was I turned the pressure up on the compressor from 90 PSI to 120, and that seemed to do the trick. So, it's not got a lot of breakaway torque, but I did torque the wheels on, and then I hit them with a torque wrench, because it's supposed to be 100 pound, and it did do that, so it's got some torque, but just not a lot of breakaway torque. But I mean, it is a generic brand, Walmart brand, so get what you pay for. My opinion, I mean, I'd say it's worth the money. But if you're going to get one, then you got to do a lot of hard work, hard labor. Got to break a lot of torque loose. Might want to go a little better. But just for you know, a little automotive garage, yeah, does the job. So guys, if you like these kind of videos, comment down below and let me know. I'm going to start doing tool reviews. I mean, if you don't like it, then we'll move on back to just fixing cars. But... If you liked the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, click the bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!